Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be building an N8N workflow. We're going to be taking an invoice, so a PDF document, sending that through a few a few nodes, and then having AI essentially classify the invoice depending on a few conditions or criteria, and then routing through. We got ClickUp, Google Drive, a bunch of exciting stuff in this N8N workflow. And of course, if you want access to this template, I'm actively working on my school community. It's not ready yet. So what I did is actually I linked a form in the description down below. Make sure to fill out that form and you'll be added to my waitlist and you'll get notified whenever my school community is up and running and you'll be able to download these templates. And if this is your first time seeing my face on YouTube here, my name is Elliot. I'm currently focused on running ManyFlow AI, which is my AI development company, my AI agency, where we develop these exact type of workflows for business owners. So with all that being said, guys, I'm just gonna jump into it. So this is the N8N workflow. As you can see, it's not that long, but it's doing some pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna make sure to go through each node step by step here. Uh, the first thing here is we have a form submission. So I'm just gonna double click on this, show you how this was built out. This is just to upload our invoice. This is gonna be the starting point. So what I have is so obviously none for authentication. Here we have a test URL. I called it invoice upload and then our field name, I have invoice, made sure the element type was file and require made that a required field because why not? And then it responds when form is submitted. So I'm gonna do a quick test step here and you'll see that I actually have two fake invoices here. One's 10K or right above 10K. The other one is just under 10K at 9,000. That'll make sense in just a little bit when we get through the end of the flow. But if I go back to here, let me pull up the form. I'm going to upload a random form. Form We'll just do the, the 10K one here. Click on submit. And then we get this data back. Now you'll notice this is a binary data and we actually can't pin this and won't allow it. Uh, honestly, going through and dealing with binary files in NNN is kind of annoying. Uh, so that's why you'll see the next part of the flow. It branches into two and then it goes into a merge step. That is because here I'm uploading it to Google Drive. And if I pull up Google Drive here, so I just have an empty folder in Google Drive where all the invoices are going to be basically uploaded to. So as you can see, it branches into here. I'm gonna upload the file to that, to that folder. And it's also gonna go through a extract from PDF step. And what this is doing is, actually I could probably test it right now from our binary. Click on test step. I'm basically scraping that entire, that entire PDF and then turning it into data here. That is going to feed, or actually it's gonna go into a merge step first. And the reason why we're doing that is because there's two flows here and I wanna make sure that only one item gets passed through. So if you just go to the merge step here, I put it on combine, set the number of inputs to two because we have two inputs and then the combine, the combine by is by position, combine items based on their order. So we'll just leave it to there. This goes into, actually we could probably run a quick test here so far. I'm gonna go to the open AI step uh, I did to set up an account, set up a credential. I'm using GPT 4.0. And if you go to my prompt, it's a user prompt. Uh, this is a very, very, very simple prompt. It's just using the input provided in JSON.txt. So what I did is I dragged the data from this. I went to text, dragged that right over here. So right now my, my open AI module is actually reading my, the step here from, from the extract PDF step. Extract and return a clean JSON object, and what it's doing is pulling out the date, the email, the client name, total, and the line items directly from this invoice here. So it's pulling all this. So let's just do a quick test so you can see what it looks like. And oh yeah, you do want to make sure to output content as JSON as well. Click on test step. And then let's see how it looks. And we can just go to JSON, it'll probably be schema might be an easier an easier view so we have our date this is what we we specified in the prompt email client name the total and the line items and you'll see here that our line items are in brackets this is to basically signify that it's going to be an object and you can see line item zero one two three four and we could probably we could probably minimize these but we're grabbing all of these line items honestly there isn't anything being done with this workflow using these line items but if you wanted to, you, you could, because you have access to it. And the next step here is a little bit of code. So it's a small code step. I had ChatGPT write this for me. All this is doing is we're taking our total right here, but this is not a number. This is as a string. You can see there's a comma in it. There's a dollar sign. So all this is doing, if I test it, is it's converting it into a number. And why, why we want that is because in my if statement, my next step, if that number, so the grand that came from our code is greater than 10,000, it's gonna to go to this flow up here. It's gonna to go to ClickUp. And then if it's under 10,000, it's just going to upload to another Google, another Google Drive folder 
and then it'll just be the end there. It'll be like, okay, this is under 10,000. Doesn't need any extra revision. We'll just leave it there. So that is why we have this code step, just turning that into a number so our if statement can actually read it. Here we are creating a task. So what I did for this example was, you know, you, you upload the invoice and if it's above 10,000, maybe that's not a normal thing. Maybe 10,000 is a budget or a limit. Maybe we'll want some actual manual human approval. We want to see, okay, why is this 10,000? Let me look over the line items. Let me look over everything on this invoice. So it's going to create a task. So I just did a create a task node here. I set up my credentials. Operation is create. This is my, my workspace, Moneyflow AI. Space name, I really don't use ClickUp, so this is as default as it is. I just have space. I made a folder called invoices list. And then here's what I titled it, needs review invoice from. So if I test this, here we get a name, needs review invoice from John Carter. The reason why I got that name is because I'm grabbing it from our OpenAI module. If I go back to OpenAI, here you'll see John Carter, that's the client name. So I dragged that over into this box here. Needs review, invoice from this person. I added some content, like needs review, priority number one, and then to do. So if we go to, to, to click up, you can see it's right here, it just populated. It added it to urgent, because that's priority one. We have to do, if I click on it, you could see it says right here, needs review. And you'll notice that there is no invoice uploaded. That is because we actually need to do a separate API for this. So I'll just delete this real quick. And then here I have a, here, here the next note is a download invoice because we're gonna be re-downloading it from Google Drive. The reason why we're doing that is because you need to have binary set as the previous node in order to access it. So I can't just make the API here right after ClickUp. I have to re-download to get the binary to be able to make the API. So I just have a download invoice. What I did was I did by ID here and then we're taking the ID from our original Google Drive, which was over here. When we, when we upload it, we actually got an ID. So let me find this ID really quickly. That's right here. This is the ID that I'm feeding right here. So it's like, okay, I know which actual file to download. So we're taking our previous Google Drive node, which was over here when we uploaded it. I'm taking this and I'm re-downloading it over here to then be, go, be able to go into my API. So here we download the invoice from the original Google Drive when we uploaded it, and then we're gonna do this API call here. So we have to actually manually do this because is, there isn't a node in N8N where we can actually upload an attachment. So for, to configure the API, I went through the documentation, but I'll just go over it in this directly. Here we're doing a post request. This is our endpoint. Now we need an ID to know which, like it's essentially a task ID, so it knows what task to actually upload the attachment to. So if I click on this, you can see my IDs over here. And this was taken directly from, if I go to ClickUp, when it created the task, I have this ID that generated. So I'm basically dragging this ID into here, into the actual endpoint, to call it and be like, okay, we're going we're gonna to upload an attachment to this endpoint. So we go to our ClickUp, drag that in. Authentication, I have none. Here I said send headers, authorization, and then here is our API key. You just go to your settings in, in ClickUp, download, create the API key, add it there. For our body, this is where it gets a little bit more confusing, but basically I have form data. My parameter type is an N8N binary file, which is right here. You wanna make sure to type in attachment here, and then the input data field name is going to be whatever name is over here. So you just copy and paste data, and that's it. Now we can actually run this into full effect really quickly. I'll just do text, work, text workflow. I'm gonna upload that 10K invoice, click on submit. Right now it's running through everything, so it's uploading it to the drive. So I could probably actually check the drive. Going through the code, creating the task, downloading it again, uploading it. So now if I go to, here it is, click on it, and now I actually have the invoice added to my task. And I can just zoom out here, and you can see that this is the exact invoice. And if I go to my Google Drive, you can see that it uploaded to our raw invoices and it's in here. So this is where all the invoices are gonna be stored. And then I do have this as well here, which is my not flagged. So we can go through that pathway right now. Essentially here, if it's false, right? If this if this condition is false, so it's, it's less than 10,000, it's gonna go down this path. Here we're doing the same thing as we are here. We're re-downloading it so that we can re-upload the binary. So it's basically a duplicated version of this. 
download it through the same ID from when we uploaded it over here. So it knows exactly which, which file to download. And then we are duplicating the first step again to upload. And then here I have my resources file upload input data field name. It's going to be data. So it's going to be the same as I probably have to run it again. So let me actually fill in the, let me test this with the actual nine K invoice. So let's go to nine K submit make it go down that path, merges through, goes through the open AI, going to format the number, goes down, downloads the file, and it uploads. So let's go here. Yep, here is the ID from our, that I previously mentioned. Go here, here's the binary data that came through because I just reran it. Here the file name is called invoice because the file name is right over here. Data, right over here. And then I just selected the folder not flagged. And if I go to that, it should be right here. And this is the $9,000 invoice. So basically what we did is just had AI analyze a invoice on a one, just one criteria, depending on the pricing and the subtotal of the invoice. But as you can imagine, you can have multiple, multiple conditions routing through dozens of, of flows and branches, depending on certain criteria. So thanks for making it until the end of the video. This was a pretty quick walkthrough, just an end-to-end -end workflow that I kind of cooked up, just showing you how to grab a PDF, extract some information, upload to Drive, have a, have a task created in ClickUp, something pretty basic. But if you made it till the end of the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. And of course, and if you have any questions on this particular workflow, if you're confused about the binary things, I know that can get a little confusing with that. So just make sure to leave those in the comment if you do have any questions regarding that. And of course, make sure to click on the link down below in the description to be able to join the waitlist for my school community. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the next video.